Please be seated. Mr. President, we are in open session. Thank you very much, Court Officer. Ms. Burton, a witness, welcome back. Thank you, Mr. President. Um, so we will play that uh, message uh, from Raila Odinga. It's our preference just to, um, to do the passage, but if you want to hear the whole thing again. Yeah, yes, the, just the passage is fine. Yes. So this is, um, it's actually, we, we go to page eight. It's the same message. Um, starting at page 8, 0576. Timestamp is 1735 up to 1758. Page 8, you say? Uh, yes. And um, it's at the beginning of Raila's message. At page 8? Yes. <coughs> it, it's two parts that we wanted to play. The one is at 17.35 up to 17.58, and then 18.24 up to 18.31. Page 80576. <laughs> kwa madhumuni ya kujaribu kuibakura hawa maaskari waliondoka imbakasi jana usiku na mabasi wa kampuni kama hili ya city hopper kinye bus service wamepelekwa kwenye eneo ya bonde la ufa kwa magaribi na nyanza Ka Mr. Witness do you hear that? Yes So I'll just read it out in English We are reliably informed that AP officers have been hired by PNU for the purpose of trying to steal votes. Those officers left Mbakasi yesterday night, traveling in City Hopper and Kenya bus service buses. They have been transported to Rift Valley, Western and Nyanza provinces. That is correct, right? Yes, it's correct. So then let's go to the second part, which is at timestamp 18.24 up to 18.31. Tumepata bari ya tuwata kukua na mebeba silaha Mepata ingia nao kwenye kituo cha kupiga kura Tunataka Did you hear that? Yes I'm just reading the English into the record We have also received reports That they will be armed And we want to condemn such actions in the strongest terms that is what you heard, right? Yes. Mr. Witness, this message of Raila Odinga was already in the newspapers as of the 24th. For instance, in the standard of the 24th of December, this is already there. Do you accept that? Or do I have to place it in front of you? I can't remember. So can I just very quickly uh, place in front of you 
uh, tab 9, this is uh, KEN-D09-0039-0039. EVD number TD09-0026. Three. Top nine, you say? Top nine of the cross-examination bundle. All right. Um, hold it there. Um, we will go to top nine. But in the meantime, while we are at tab 14, the audio you've played and the text of the transcript of which you've read onto the record, is it correct to say that um, the transcript as we see it is at page 8. Is it correct to say that it is exactly the same uh, material that we see at page 28? It's exactly the same message that's being repeated over and over again All right, okay. throughout uh, the audio. All right, thank you. So we, you say we go next to tab 9? Indeed. Could the court officer please place it in front of the witness? Do you have it in front of you, Mr. Witness? Yes. Do you see at the left of that first page a column with the title State Denies Rigging Claims? Do you see that? Yes, sir. This is all about Mr. Raila Odinga's allegation. It's not just Raila Odinga. It's the ODM's allegation of this um, attempt to rig the elections. Do you see that? Mm -hmm. So our point is, as early as 24th of December 2007, the Kenya's biggest papers are already reporting on these allegations before you heard costs. Do, do you accept that now you see this newspaper? Um, I can accept that there was a wrecking allegations which made by ODM, but I'm still insisting that it was on 26 when Sun was announcing this number of vehicles that brought in fake ballot papers. I cannot dispute that there was allegation by wrecking allegations, which is also part of my testimony. Thank you, witness. Just um, do you also accept that on the 26th, what has been reported is again this ODM allegation, there's no report of anything that was said of, of uh, CAS allegations. Do you accept that or do I have to place another newspaper in front of you? If you accept it, we move on. I know you maintain your testimony. But... Yes, Fiona, I, I can see that these things is there by records, but my uh, my still believing that Sang used the radio on 26 to read out the numbers and make people to go to the, to block the roads. Just to make it very clear to you, we are not disputing that you've heard Mr. Sang. He might have summarized what other people have reported. It's our position, but we've heard throughout this audio on the 25th of December we're discussing the likelihood of rigging, the use of administration police, and the use of motor, motor vehicles. These are the allegations that are brought out initially by Raila Odinga. It's been discussed, as you heard, by journalists like Tarus Silas, Tanui, and Timothy. That you heard, correct? I heard. And can you also confirm that uh, Tanui, his, uh, his name is Kibiego, K-I-B-Y-E-G-O, Arab, A-R-A-P, Tanui, 
T-A-N-U-I, and he also na uses the name Kombo Chepkoske. Are you aware of that? Can you confirm that? I know him, and I know he's a broadcaster from initially Kassava. And you confirm that his other name is Kwombo Chepkoske? He is. So let me spell that for the record. That's K-W-O-M-B-O Chepkoske C-H-E-P-K-O-S-G-E-I. So Mr. Witness, as I said, we accept you heard Mr. Sung. We put it to you, he did not ask people to block the roads. He, in fact, asked people to stay calm the evening before. But we do accept you heard him. We do not accept he was the one spreading this rumor. Do you, do you understand my proposition? I understand your proposition, but also I cannot deny, I cannot refuse that um, he was on 26th talking the same message, but I cannot deny that uh, he used on 26th evening because though I didn't listen myself to that program, maybe because of, maybe I was busy at that particular moment, I can do stand by what I had on 26th. Yes. And just what, what program did you say you did not listen to because you were probably busy. Uh, this one, which I was so given to start scripts, this on audio uh, on 25th evening. All right, thank you. Yes, and um, what you heard was after the 25th, we just heard. I put the date on the record. There's one more thing I want to put to you. Um, I'm putting to you that song. He was neither one, the one who was, as I said, uh, uh, distributing the rumor. He was simply trying to uncover the truth about this allegation. Having heard this audio, would you accept that? <coughs> I think we can move on, Ms. Bausman. Okay, I can... It's all, right. it's all right with this. We can move on, Ms. Bartman. Well, we'll move on to an entire different area. Witness, in your testimony, did I understand you to say that Mr. Sung made Met what? He promote him as a Kalenjin leader. Yes, Your Honor. If I understood you well. Um, so your question now is about promoting, not <coughs> about making. Is that it? Well, I changed because the witness did not understand made, as far as I understand. All did right. he make him as someone famous in the region? Yes, Your Honor. And he promoted him as a Kalenjin leader of the region? Yes, Your Honor. Being Rift Valley? Yes, Your Honor. You said that any message that would criticize Mr. Ruto would be cut off by Mr. Sang. Yes, Your Honor. He would have a lot. He would give a lot more time to people who were promoting Ruto. Yes, Your Honor. Witness, are you aware of a meeting that was held in Kaji, Kajado in the Maasai Safari Lodge where some Rift Valley leaders endorsed Ruto to be the leader of Rift Valley? 
Have you heard of that? Um, I don't... I'm not aware of the meeting. Just for the record, I'll spell Kajado. K-A-J-I-A-D-O. Not hear about this meeting. Um, are you aware that at some point in time, leaders of the Kalenjin community promoted Ruto as their leader? I can understand that, but this part of the scheme and the mouthpiece to prepare that to be prepared or sung. Are you aware of the Edama Ravine resolution? El Tamaravin declare it. Spell it. El Tamaravin. El Tamaravin. Yes. Are you aware of that? Um, I can't remember the page, but I can remember about such a meeting which uh, then MP Musa Serema was organizing. I cannot remember very well. But yes, I can remember. Can you tell us what the resolution was? This is one of the declarations that Ruto is uh, a leader. And what more is it? Sorry, MP. What MP? What was this? What is the spelling? Musa. For? Musa is M U S A. And what? then Sirma is S I R M A. Thank you. This was the resolution where William Ruto was elected as the leader of the Rift Valley. Witness. Can you confirm that? Was that your understanding? Uh, that's, um, I can't recall properly, but I, I'm out. In my mind, I remember about that meeting, which was, uh, Ruta was declared as a leader of Rift Valley by leaders. And do you accept that this was also a resolution by which it was decided that William Ruto would be the one to seek presidency on behalf of Rift Valley. I can remember, but yes, that is. Uh, and do you accept? Do you agree with me that since Moy's departure? Various people have sought to be the foremost leader in the Rift Valley, and that includes Henry Koske, Nicholas Pivot, Kipruto Kirwa, and William Ruta. Do you accept that? I accept that, but I was saying that uh, despite that those leaders wanted to be one of the leaders, Sangs could use Kaz FM to promote one, William Ruto, among the, those leaders you are mentioned. To seek the presidency of the presidency, country. Presidency, leadership of the community. We have, uh, what, uh, we, are, we want also our, our bull, call it our bull, Kirgit. Yes. Do you recall what was the position of the ordinary people 
uh, on, at this endorsement of William Ruto as opposed to the political leaders, do you know what the position was of the ordinary people on this decision? Um, after a long time of promoting Mr. Ruto through K7, Ruto became the top leader whom nobody else could challenge him, especially even calling him programs everywhere. Then Sang was the one, if you mention somebody else, you could not go well with Sang. So do you then recall what Sang's position was about this particular resolution? I don't, I cannot remember unless I know from you. You say he endorsed Ruto. That's correct. Yes, promoting among the Hatha leaders. We get a spelling um, at line 11. Is that the correct spelling? A witness, you mentioned, I believe, the Kalenjin word for bull. You said our bull. Mm. Uh, what did you use? Kirgit. How do you spell that? Uh, K I R G I G. Cricket. Thank you. Were there any other endorsements of the other leaders? like uh, any other leader than William Ruto, where they also endorsed at that meeting when the resolution came out? I can't recall now what exactly happened at that meeting. The decision of the leaders was to, for Ruto to seek presidency. But promotion of Ruto started as early as 2005. It's been even the Turing Kultalel Day in 19 October. That was when Ruto was actually started being promoted by the same uh, radio through Kasevem by Sun. I, I would like us to listen to another audio. And this is an audio already uh, heard yesterday. It's 7th of March, 2007. Spellings, please, line 16. Let's watch out for these things. Whenever there's a new word introduced, we should pause to capture it on the record at that time. I believe the witness said, Koi Talal Day. Yes, Your Honor. Okay. That would be K O I T A L E L. Is that it? Yes, Your Honor. Thank you. Yes, thank you. So I would like to go to the 7th of March, 2007. And this is at top 37 of the main cross-examination binder. The number of the audio is KEN-D11-0015-01220. This is the audio, and the transcription is KEN-D11-0019-0020. Dash zero one seven seven transcription and translation. And this is at uh, we're going to timestamp four point oh seven up to four point two seven.
Oh, and can the document be placed in front of the witness, please? At what page are we going to be looking at? Page one, which is K E N D eleven dash zero zero one nine dash zero one seven eight. Page. Well, <coughs> so we go, in fact, we go straight to the topic, which is um, time stamp. 2.43 up to 15.45. I correct myself, 9.43 up to 15.45. And this is at page 5. Are you with me, Mr. Witness? Yes, Your Honor. <clears throat> you start where you see the name Joshua Sang. Up or down? Up. Not the very up, but the second time you see the name mentioned. Okay. Kalenjin listeners in English. So, if everyone's there, I would like to play now. Then in Olympia Branico Ongen and Angoras, in Bidu Tabo Mutku go to Yogandoik Chabunurif Tabal, go to Yogandoik, in Mojogology Tag, Hangumawane, like in go to Yogandoik, Chorimu go to Yambitu Tabo Mut, in two years to Nogomite Masai Safari Lodge, and Gomosta Pacadiado Central, now to go to Gabriata Britvale, go to Yogandoik, Chogoma, in Kuti Tagenge, go Sirto, Nalek, Che Itelo, Nalek Lodge, go Sirto. Che Koisirto, Chiguren Guna Masai, a lodge declaration, Chibobik a Rift Valley. Rift Valley, Kumibik Togol, Koyunga, Jitogol, Ko Rift Valley, Ko Cosmopolitan, Kunga. Did you hear that, Mr. Witness? I hear. So I, I will just read out for the record the English translation. Quote Kalenjin listeners. Our topic today is on what you know or have heard of. Leaders from Rift Valley met yesterday. Someone may say, but I didn't attend the meeting. But leaders met yesterday at the Maasai Safari Lodge in Kajado Central, which is part of Rift Valley. The leaders agreed and outlined about six resolutions, now named Maasai Lodge Declaration, on behalf of the people from Rift Valley. Rift Valley is home to all communities. It is a cosmopolitan pro province. Quote, end of quote. And for the record, we stopped at 10.24. Is that a fair translation, Mr. Witness? It is. And does this uh, correspond with the resolution we just talked about? Yes, Your Honor. Thank you. I'd like to continue uh, where we started. Go and do go to your go bono district keba Turgana, go bono district keba Mount Elgon, go bono district keba Transoya, Marakwet, Keyo, Laikipia, Samburu, Narok, Narok North, Narok South, Bomet, Kericho, Bureti, 
Nandi South, Nandi North, uh, Kumosta Baringo Raba Nakuro, Baringo, Baringo East, Ak Nguigele in Iman ko rift wala tugul district ba rift wala tugul chogo ba bi ke ter ter chin ko me ja ba gotit ak pik an go talak ke ma ba gotit uy ge le en tu ya no ta ko gandoy chogo mi mi senko ke ba rift wala ke jo to go jobo gol engine ko te shige masai ko mi masai ke gora en gore tage ko ni pike ja ko ge regule kol engine aw go mi bi gap samburu chogo mi ta tu ya no ta ak pik ak turgana ko ing tu yani ta ko ba mut ko koi sirta ngale ke jang cha me jege ti ngale ko yeng joto ko subke ko lewu ngale joto ngale galak ko a tu koi sirta ngale ki na mege ak telele are you playing the whole thing to the end okay you're just about to stop all right proceed is it area then it's it's some more of words yes a big Menyishe and province again, Negure Rift Valley. Mr. Witness, did you hear that? Yes, I hear that. I will read into the record the English translation. The leaders who met came from Turkana, Mount Elgon, Transzoya, Maraquet, Keo. Laikipia, Samburu, Narok, Narok North, Narok South, Bomet, Kericho, Bureti, Nandi North, Nandi South, Nakuru, Baringo, and Baringo East Districts. That is all the districts in the entire Rift Valley and these comprised of the Kalenjans and non kalenjans Majority of those who attended were leaders from Rift Valley who include Kalenjans and the Maasai who are considered by many to be Kalenjans too. There were also people from Samburu and Turkana communities. In the meeting, a number of issues were agreed upon, but I want to focus on only two issues. The other issues do not concern the residents of Rift Valley province. End of quote. Mr. Witness, could you hear that? Yes, Your Honor. Is it a fair translation? It is. And do you accept that when they're talking about the cosmopolitan province, is it true that all these tribes are in the Rift Valley? Kalenjins and non kalenjins Yes, they are talking about Maasai and, uh, and Samburus. But actually, Bear in mind that Kikuyus are there in the valley. Thank you. So let us uh, move on to the next passage. And uh, we continue from 11.34. That's where we stopped. Who an allegab administration, who an allegab amunes again, Maja, Kanda, and a tet in Gemoni, who amune, Lagigu, Kanda. Can we please uh, ask the court's assistance? We have a problem with the, uh, the sound.
biik che mengishe eng province agenge ne kigure Rift Valley ko ngalek ab administration ko ngalek ab amune sikemeje kandoinatet eng emoni ko amune le kigu kandoin teta be money kobate la meje la muyota le mejo onyoru ako kas kora ngot kwe ngot ko umiyota ko engalega chamait ko gogisirto eng pointit number angwan kile crypt valley komite eng chamait ab odium ako mangu chamait ab odium ko noto ne imuti icheket konyor serkalit ab emoni asokogirinda pananda ne mi emoni ko Mr. Witness, could you follow the audio? Yes, Your Honor. And I'll read out the English translation. Other issues discussed include issues of administration, reason as to why we need leadership in this country, and how leadership has been in this country. However, the areas I want to emphasize and know if you agree with is on the issue of a political party. The meeting resolved in point number four that Rift Valley will support ODM party and believe that ODM is the party they will use to get leadership and end poverty in this country. And for the record, we stopped at 12.16. Is this a fair translation, Mr. Witness? It is. Thanks. And I would just like to move on. Before you do, um, so it is part of your case, is it? that this resolution is saying that everyone in the Rift Valley would support the ODM party. Is that the point of the resolution? The point of the resolution is that the Honorable William Ruto uh, to be their presidential candidates in ODM in Kenya, or to be to run for president in the country, that is oh, the point. Perhaps I should have been clearer. So, um, what has now been read on to the record uh, thus far is the understanding then that so far it is telling us that the resolution is to the effect that everyone in the Rift Valley would support the ODM party. Mr. President, it's a resolution uh, taken by leaders of uh, the community, but that is their um, assumption. Uh, yes, that is their point. That is the point of their resolution, isn't that it? Is that the point? Yes, but um, that is, uh, there are some, but not everyone is, of course, uh, supporting this resolution, but we'll, we'll, we'll come to that. We want to understand the point of, we're trying to find out what happened the post-election violence, and that is why we're holding this trial, isn't it? And we want to know what was said at any point in time. It's, it, the point is not that everyone must vote for William Ruto. Um, I'm not talking about William Ruto now. I'm saying you've read something onto the record. Quote, quote, the meeting resolved in point number four that Rift Valley will support ODM party and believe that ODM is a party they will use to get leadership and end poverty in this country, unquote. My question is, this is saying that everyone in Rift Valley will support the OTM. Is that what it is saying? That is, the, um, that is what the leaders want, indeed. 
Okay. And if you go further up, in the text further up, you read above time stamp 1057. After the enumeration of the district in the Rift Valley, we have a quote, quote, that is all the districts in the entire Rift Valley, and these comprised of the Kalenjins and non-Kalenjins, unquote. The point then to be that the effect of that resolution in point number four that we've looked at was to the effect that not only uh, the Kalenjins in the Rift Valley to support the ODM party, but also non-Kalenjins in the Rift Valley was to support the ODM party. Is that the point? Well, that is the intention. But uh, like, like any political leaders, they're saying they want their supporters with support. Not that it's not saying that everyone in Rift Valley will, but it is according uh, to the leaders' uh, this the intent. Is their intention. Yeah. Thank you. As Please. much as they can, yes. Please, Please proceed. proceed. Mr. President, can I just add a note of caution of submissions regarding one party's view of a document in the presence of a witness? Uh, Mr. Ken, we, there's too many documents put in this case, and as the point becomes relevant, I will ask the questions, the Chamber will ask the questions we need to keep in mind. Indeed, Mr. President, yes. I just note it for the record. Y yes, yes, yes. Move on. Ms. Bousman, continue. Yes, and make it very clear. We're talking about the position of the leaders, not the community. Proceed. Nata, kogo som kile amucha ma it nijinya toge tabi mit komogol nigle national outlook kogo som pi tukul de bagenya ko tu yagei akando ina teta podium ak Kotestai, kocheng, kabili shit ngi moani, asa kabit kisto gai muti kitunda bika Kenya, kuhu bete tap kaliat, kipaishoni kimami pananda aktubu kala kijang. Ngolia taka ngo isir tago ra ne ba mut, kuhu isir tago le rift vale, kuga kwayan ni goni tot William Samoe kipchirchir arabruto kui gando indet ni noto ibel jinge ngejereta president. In chama itap ODM Kenya ananko president ba imoni kubiga abritu vale oma gole inendat kugigo bor kabarun kabaru kabaru naik chibo arugole inendat kukando iti ya nijigile demonstrate exceptional leadership qualities kale Mr. Witness did you hear that? Yes I hear that so let me just read into the record the English translation, and you tell me if it's fair. Quote, other issues discussed include issues of administration, reason as to why we need leadership in this country and how this leadership has been in this country. However, the areas I want to emphasize and know if you agree with is on the issue of a political party. The meeting resolved in point number four um, that Rift Valley will support ODM party and believe that ODM is the party they will use to get leadership and end poverty in this country. They urged all Kenyans to unite and support ODM party because it has a national outlook the supporters come from different regions. They also asked all Kenyans to back ODM. They also resolved to continue seeking to win power in the country 
in order to end the suffering facing the Kenyan people, like insecurity, unemployment, poverty, and many others. Another resolution passed is number five, that Rift Valley has endorsed the Honorable William Samui Kiptitia Arab Ruto to be their presidential candidate in ODM Kenya or to run for president <coughs> in this country. The people from Rift Valley said he has demonstrated exceptional leadership qualities. Mr. Witness, is that a fair translation? It is, Your Honor. <coughs> For the record, we stopped at 13.17. We'll now move on to another timestamp, which is 18.07. It's at page number 10. It's KEN-D11-0019-0187. There's 0187 as a page, and the timestamp ends, it's 1807 up to 1855. Are you there, Mr. Witness? Yes, Your Honor. And I'm going to the, the last part of uh, Joshua's song. It says 18.7. Do you see it? Mm -hmm. 07, yeah. So let us listen to it now then. Thank you, Ko Nchotoko. In resolution, Jogma Mbitabo Mutko Ilene. Ioni, Aname Ioni. Chotoko Ingenye. Kuine Kuchito. Amogo Gimwa. Koko Mwandoi. Ko Ingbikyo Ntukul. Ko inye ni imi teiko senguna hai, imi yoto ane mimi yoto. Kungale kyoto, chiki tebenen embe tutabrani. Ko ngye shei imwa, kongo me shei imwa. Ko asakabit ke nai amu ki chinibi, kya barifti vale, obija to barifti vale. Choko kongo kongo ngalal ko andoi kwa ko imi yoto. SMS anangu cement. Cement ko puchi sabo yenga genge, agenga poch, 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 lob. Puch, and I'll put this up some more, some more, so go all put, so see, so go all put, and then go, uh, put, I ain't put, I ain't this up, some of this up, I ain't, and one law. Uh, Mr. Witness, did you hear that? Yes, you So let me read into the record the English translation. And so, listeners, what do you say about yesterday's resolutions? Do you agree or not? That is what the leaders resolved. How about you as an individual? That is, what we are asking you today, if you do not agree, say it. If you agree, say it as well, so that we know, because we reached the people of Rift Valley and those who spoke in the meeting are their leaders. Do you agree with them? And Mr. President, then there was something about the SMS. Uh, I'm not sure I need to translate that. Okay. Mr. Witness, is that a fair translation of what you heard? It is. And you agree that Song was asking the public to say whether or not they supported this position taken by some of leaders. It is. Oh, Thank you. Then I'd like to go.
to uh, the next uh, timestamp, which is 47.07 up to 47.26. It's at page 33, and it's the key end page is 0210. Mr. Witness, are you there? Where? 44? 33. Yes, 33, yes. Page 33. And, and you see, uh, it's page 33. To the bottom, you see timestamp 47.07. Underneath, there is the name Joshua Sung. Can you see that? Page 33, yes. Okay. That's where I would like us to play direct audio. Mr. Witness, did you hear that? Yes. So I'll just read it into the transcript and... You tell me if it's fair. You are listening to Kas FM, Nairobi. There are SMS here. Josiah Koske in Kapisimba in Siungiroi says no. He says he spoke in Transmara to say, let us us bow down to the Maasai's or something like that. He says no. That is from Joe Koske. Is that what you heard? Yes, Your Honor. And did you hear Mr. Sang reacting at all to this response of no? No. Because that was someone opposing William Ruto, correct? No intervention from Mr. Sang. Um, is that, does that follow? I'm asking the witness. No, no, the question that the person Posing, was... Uh, uh, the resolution. Right. There are different things in the resolution than you picked out opposing William Ruto. As that, the elected leader. The question that uh, was posed earlier was whether the people agreed with the um, choice of William Ruta as the leader. And here, Mr. Joshua Arabsang um, is listening to someone, an SMS, and he says no. That is correct, isn't it, Mr. Witness? Yes. N no to what? That, that's what I'm saying. Do we see it? Is it apparent? As I recall, you skipped a few, uh, the, some, some gaps, is there not, between the last time the resolutions were mentioned and the point where Mr. Ruto's name was mentioned, skip again, count SMS, and somebody says no, and you're asking the witness to say that's no to William Ruto. It is. It, I mean, it's hard because I can't read out the entire audio, so we have to take uh, excerpts. It will be clear later on, Mr. President. Maybe when it is clear, you can then pose that question right now. It is not a fair question for this witness. Maybe your difficulty is a problem for you, but that shouldn't be an unfairness to the witness.
So, so let us move on. Oh, I just have to correct spelling here at page 59, line 2. It's, I will spell the names that I read out. Josiah, J-O-S-I-A-H, Koske, K-O-S-G-E-Y. And the other name was Kapisimba, K A P I S. I M B A Sion Giroi S I O N G I R O I So can we then go to the next timestamp which is 48.29 which is at page 35 Yes, Ruto, Ko Kianik, Malel Kinos in a moy, Kalias, Abuati, Golechi, Nemion, Nemeani, Ko Scalino, Sogoran, I do you my near the Mosogra, Memujo Sogra, and Mutilogical, Kainen, Yagoletai, Nyagu, Jubot, Majubot, Narwa, and Nanuki Barracks. Kalaji, the man, Rabu, Sogran, or Jubot, at Jamajali, at Jamagamija, Etiot, or Mopoti, or Chitopol Costokio, Utindai Mandani, Kubirchino Rabirchi. Yummy and a bruto. Mr. Witness, did you hear that? Yes, Your Honor. Let me read it out into the record. The timestamp is 48.29 up to 49.11. Oh, we stopped a bit earlier, 48.58. So let me read it out. Kimalel, that's K-I-M-A-L-E-L. Kinyozi, K-I-N-Y-O-Z-I. Says yes. He says he believes whoever does not agree is cursed. No. They are not. They cannot be cursed because everyone has a right. That is from Engarwa in Nanyuki Barracks. Engarwa is N-J-A-R-W-A. In Nanyuki, N-A-N-Y-U-K-I, Barracks. No, they cannot be cursed. Let us not go there because everyone has a right to choose whoever they want. Is that what you hear, Mr. Witness? <coughs> if we can just uh, play the next two lines so we can see for Mr. President what we're talking about. Lagini much nyokwai chepkergo kala chepkergo ya mege ara bruta lagi na kala mujugo ya gidi amin chepkergo gumi segero ehe kabwa tuti guga kinye benro no Mr. Witness, did you hear that? Yes. And if I can read it into the record, chepkergo c h e p k e r g o in Segero, S-E-G-E-R-O, says, yes, Ruto can do it, but he may become another Idi Amin. Those are your thoughts. Mr. Witness, do you uh, agree hearing this? Was this a fair translation? It was. 
And do you agree that Mr. Song's response to this uh, person whose SMS he's reading out is, those are your thoughts? That is correct, is it not? Yes. And that is a response to someone referring to Ruto being able to do it, but he may become another Idi Amin. That's right, is it not? That's right. But uh, Joshua Sang says, those are your thoughts. <laughs> Do you agree from the other paragraph, just above it, where we talk about other people calling in, who say, the, anyone who does not agree is cursed. Look at Mr. Sang's reaction. He says, no, they cannot be cursed. Let us not go there because everyone has a right to choose whoever they want. These are Sang's words, aren't they? Yes. Mr. Witness, does this not show that Mr. Sang is open to different opinions? According to what I can see here, but not all the time. And thank you, Witness. And just for the record, this last part that we uh, read out <coughs> Uh, was between 48.58 up to 49.11. Well, Ms. Um, Boisman, um, settled on the, uh, where are we? Uh, uh, you're thinking about your next line of question or consulting for that, is that it? I think my lead flower counsel would like to floor. While you're consulting, um, witness, you did uh, say something about the Koi Talo uh, day. celebration of the 19th of October. Yes, Your Honor. 2005? Yes, Your Honor. And your testimony was to the effect that as of that date, um, Mr. Sang had already started or started on that date to promote Mr. Ruto as the topmost Kalenjin leader. Was that your testimony? Yes, Your Honor. What happened on the Koitalo day and how was it that you formed the view that Mr. Sang was promoting Mr. Ruto as the topmost Kalenjin leader on that date? And yet before that day, Ruto, um, Sang had already promoted uh, in his morning show. Uh, that um, we want to be united into one community and any person who was against that particular uh, could not be in the court books and also they heard that uh, and Ruta was uh, actually he was promoting Ruta as one of the person who was actually uh, fighting for them and yet by then he was in the he was supporting, he was against the trap constitution, which alleged that uh, um, maybe if that constitution will pass, then the, 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 the soil of the Rift Valley will be taken over by Kikuyus. So by then, whoever who was supporting, uh, Akenes, who was not supporting the, who was supporting the trapped constitution by then, was an enemy of the community. And it was provocated through the radio by Sang. And 
by then already the line had been drawn. Whoever was not in the line of Ruto was not been given even chance, even during the Italian day. He was not actually nobody was given a chance from the Kalenjin community who was not who was then with PNU side. And I can call it was not PNU Biden. It was NAC. But actually it was not. All leaders were shut down. But Ruta was a hero that day. This is was the creation of Sang who started earlier. And even there was a song which was sung all every time. It was creating like something emotional when it was sung that Kalenjin are in the middle of the water and then pray to God to take them up to the other the other side of the river. So which means Ruto was the one who taking them, who was leading them by then. And actually during the day nobody was hallowed, including whole ministers, all everybody, apart from Ruto was given a horrific welcome in that particular day. And this is was because of some propaganda at that time. Thank you. Um, Council, of course, you can always ask follow-up questions on both sides from the ones I ask. Um, this is for you, Ms. Parsman, Mr. Key and Council can also respond to it. They have been references to the Eldama Ravine resolution. Is it an evidence? Do we have that? evidence of that resolution on record? Oh, but we could, of course, produce it. Uh, there, uh, you've been making references to it, so I was wondering whether one can see what it looks like. I was commenting on the audio, but it's not in evidence. Oh, right, okay. Please proceed. But I would just like to, on your earlier, uh, because it will also respond now to this witness, I wanted to clarify what this debate is about. We, uh, at page six, this is something that we went through with you, and we are focusing on only two issues that you heard. There was point number four and number five. I just want to put it clearly so we know what we are dealing with. Number four is that Rift Valley will support ODM party and believe that ODM is the party they will use to get leadership and end poverty in this country. It's something I read out. It's at page 6. And then issue number 5 is at page 7, and it is that the Rift Valley has endorsed the Honorable William Samoy Kipchichia Arab Ruto to be their presidential candidate in ODM Kenya or to run for president in this country. And so there is one about ODM specifically and not about, about uh, William Ruto. But the question that is being discussed throughout is starts at page 10 and I could of course have the witness listen to it or I can just read it out for, uh, for everyone's information. We don't, it's up to you. The, my intervention at that point was that you asked the witness to respond to a specific proposition you had put. That wasn't clear. That was all. So somebody sent a text message saying no, and you asked the witness uh, that no was no to Mr. Ruto as leader, but up Till that point, it wasn't clear that that was what the note in the text message was. And that was what made it unfair for the witness to answer. But then you continued to explore that theme. And now, well, Mr. President, we did, we did go through the introduction and we did go specifically through all these points, number four and number five. And also at number 10 is where the actual question is posed. And since it's not clear, let me just uh, put it in the record. This is at page 10 of the same document. And um, the, initially this is Joshua Song saying, it may also be seen from the perspective that Uhuru Kenyatta is interested. He's the son of the late leader. Raila Odinga too is interested. 
He is the son of a former leader. We have to move on. See, there is no... Then you, you, one second. You wait, 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 wait. wait. Um, it's for counsel to choose that question in a way that clearly points the witness to the proposition being made. It may be sometimes such propositions are not easily made on the basis of the material available. Uh, for counsel to consider whether they want to pursue it or want to abandon it and go for a clearer proposition. That is all. So we understand your difficulty. You, uh, there's a lot of text between the mention of Ruto and the mention of no in the SMS text. Mr. President, if it assists, just in relation to page 33, uh, just above the no, on the same page, uh, one sees at 4406 that a caller, uh, John Milgo, uh, phones in and says, we are fully in ODM. We are at the centre of it. We also support Honourable Arab Ruto. And it goes on, unquote. Uh, and, Your Honour, then it's very clear, 14.25, there's adverts. And then immediately thereafter, at 14.07, we have the, the no interjection. So that's the context. Uh, and, of course, the bench will make of it what they think yes, uh, is appropriate. Yes, that context wasn't clear at the point of asking the question to witness. But we can move on. Mr. Witness, we just heard you uh, respond to a question from the President. And uh, obviously, we are going through this audio where Mr. Sung is going through these questions. And what we're trying to put to you is that he is asking people's opinions. He is not imposing his opinions. From what you've heard so far, would you agree with that? Yes, according to what we have passed through, he was just giving, he was just moderating the message. Yes. And then I'd like to, for one last part of this uh, audio, which is at page 58, this is uh, uh, KEN page 0235. And it's timestamp 1.31.24 up to 133.32. 56. It's page 58. Are you with me, Mr. Witness? Yes, I am. Can we just uh, start at the, uh, yeah, let's, let's play. Councilman Malo? Hello? Yes. I'm going to go. 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 Eh, eh. I'm going to go. 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 Let me tell my tenant only get done with you to be acquainted with who's teaching in Yanka. Mhm. Casa Mugu to be acquainted in a Mugu was in the again. Mhm. Like in Odium. Go King Gale and Eagle Eagle in Karim. Mhm. He got the European government of Drift. Mhm. Man, I am Munani. I saw Mugu go to be having some three days after the evening. Mhm. Cogi, the Levitu, go on to be made at that. Angi, mite ne goni to no Arab to go mite goni to kip kalya gones. Kas koro kati pene kiti ole mite kobo pao kip segi sa lamapa kip segi spi jato. Goni. No Arab to a kip kalya gones kumi to odiam interim. 
Mr. Witness, uh, did you hear that? Yes, Your Honor. Do you recognize this voice, Mr. Witness? I recognize the sound, but the caller, yes, yeah, yeah, the caller. Did you not recognize the voice of the caller? Yes, I hear what you're saying, but I, I cannot recognize who is he, but yes, I could hear. Do you know a person called Magerer Arab Lugui Moita? I will spell that. M-A-G-E-R-E-R Arab A-R-A-P Lugui L-U-G-U-I then Moita M-O-I-T-A that's someone you're familiar with? No, I don't know. You do not know that this is a PNU member? I don't know. If it's coming from the far end of Kerejo, I cannot know. Thank you, witness. Well, I'm going to read this into the record in English. And um, I start... Joshua Song saying, uh, thank you, Kasafem, hello, yes. Caller, how are you, Joshua? Joshua, I am fine. Caller, I totally disagree with ODM. ODM has really divided the Rift Valley. Let us not lie to each other. Joshua Song, how did it divide it? Caller, I wish there was another party that could unite the Kalenjin people just like Kas FM has done. Kas FM has brought together Kalenjin people as one station. But you see, when ODM was established, all interim positions were given to North Rift Valley. Caller, why did they not give some positions to South Rift Valley? The Kipsigis. It has been considered that these people are only there to tether the cow for others to milk. Joshua. But there is Honorable Noah Arab To and Honorable Kiplaya Kons. Please listen first. I am simply asking are they Kipsigis? or not. Noah Arapto and Kipkalia Kohns are in ODM interim. Mr. Witness, can you confirm that that is a fair translation? It is, yeah. Thank you. Just carry on then the, the audio. Mhm. <laughs> Mr. And for the record, we stopped at uh, timestamp 1.33.032. Mr. Witness, could you hear that? Yes, Your Honor. So let me read the English into the transcript. What I'm saying is this. The presidential candidate is hailing from North Rift.
the chairman of the party comes from North Rift. The rest are irrelevant. They should have considered a Maasai or hand the position of chairman to Kipsigis or an Timama because he was interested. Caller. This is turning out to be like the case in 2002. Chaman Buj, I will spell that, C-H-A-M-A-N, Buj, B-U-C-H, brackets, Paul Song, and Arab Salat pleaded for the position of a nominated MP, which went to Esther Hino, K-E-I-N-O. Otherwise, it would have, given to some, would have been given to someone from North Rift in 2005 when we were in Kasarani, where Arab Ruto won as Secretary General and Uhuru as Chairman. It was Arab To who begged for the position. It was a case of a pleading. It would have gone to North Rift. So why wasn't even Anthony Kimeto, I'll spell that, Anthony, K-I-M-E-T-O, named as chairman? I don't agree with them. Kibaki is even better because he has attempted to balance issues. Thank you. This is Magere Arab Lugui Moita. I'll spell that. M A G E R E R Arab Lugui L U G U I and then Moita M O I T A. And then Joshua, thank you. Those are the views of Matarit. Kasafem, hello. Mr. Witness, could you, uh, is that a fair translation? It is. And um, this person, do you know a name called Matarit? M A T A R I T. I don't know, Your Honor. Because that is his real name. Mr. Witness, if you hear this, is it fair for me to say that Mr. Sung gave this person a lot of air time, although he was opposed to Mr. Ruto? And ODM. Is that a fair proposition? That is what he did that particular time. At no time did Mr. Sung interrupt him, did he? He didn't, yes. Thank you. And having heard this audio, do you still stand by your testimony that Sung cuts off people with opposite views? Yes, I do, Your Honor. Views pro ODM, views pro Ruto. You still stand by your testimony that he would cut them off? Argumentative, Your Honor. The witness has already answered. The witness can answer. Yes, I stand by my testimony. I, I want to propose to you the reason you were talking about frequent callers with whom he was a lot more patient and who were a lot more online. I propose, I put it to you, that the reason they were online all the time is because they made a lot of effort, time and money to be heard on Casa Vem. Not because Sung gave them preferential treatment. Is that a proposition you can accept? Your Honor, um, I do also try my best to call. But somebody somewhere who is in this list of saying could end even twice. 
what if I am using the same trying to call without non-stop and I cannot go through? I didn't say son give permission to that person, but I don't know, maybe they have special phone to call through. Okay. Even if even what if I have a phone I want to call, even twenty shillings, Kenya shillings, can make a call, can say even a law. But why I could not go through. They could have more than one phone, Mr. Witness. Is it possible you got it wrong? Is it possible that it is because people were paying more money, more time, had more phones, and that is why they're more on air? Is this a possibility, Mr. Witness? I object, Your Honor. That calls for speculation. Objection sustained. Well, then I move on from this point, and I see the time. Indeed. We'll take our lunch break now. Um, we come back at 2.30. We go to closed session now for the witness to be ushered out of the courtroom.